So one of the big downsides on working in Myanmar is that every month you have to get out of the country. Meaning we did quite a few border crossings already and we learned recently that after three crossings of the land border you have to fly in and out. So Pina just went for a trial run and crossed another land border with a incredibly long bus ride in between and she just made it back because probably she had a gorgeous smile thrown at the customs guy. Uh, yeah, but it means that the next time we have to get out of the country, we actually have to fly into Bangkok. Um, and so far in the month and a half that I've been on Boulder Island, I've been working on my reef map. Um, so basically I've been doing a bottom map of the reefs that are in Boulder Island, um, starting with one bay, the biggest bay, which is where we are now. And slowly I'll be working my way around the island, uh, hopefully trying to do the other bays as well. I've been out most days snorkeling. Um, it's possible to collect all the data snorkeling, it just takes quite a lot of time. So I've been using a dive slate and just writing down which areas of coral are in uh, which areas basically and aligning myself with rocks and mooring buoys and things just so I know where I am in order to map the coral. And from then, uh, the con of the of the mapping uh, is sitting down on my computer and inputting it all into Google Earth and then from Google Earth I've been putting it into ArcGIS and anyone who knows ArcGIS knows that sometimes it can be a bit difficult um, so I've been sat on my computer for a few hours being able to produce a, a map that looks anything vaguely nice <laughs> and hopefully I've done that and uh, now I start on another bay, so the snorkeling starts again, the good thing, and then I'll be back to the computer. this week. Yes, we did go actually two times I think. Yes, definitely two times. There was one quick go with one of the guests from the island and then some of the staff from the island actually had a go. which was interesting to watch. Some of them just didn't have any feeling whatsoever and some of the guys who grew up in, on, around the water and basically spent their entire lives on boats they were incredible.
haven't done it yet, subscribe to our channel, have a look on Patreon as well. There's the one or the other extra video and special gimmick for our patrons every now and then. And also we are looking into starting a crowdfunding campaign probably around June. So if you want to hear more information about that, sign up to our newsletter directly on the website and you'll be one of the first ones to hear about it. Tell us why you are pedaling right now. Yeah, because obviously it's the boss's job to be the public transportation in every good NGO. So that's why people who are working with and for me are generally sitting in front of the kayak, staring back at me and smiling while I'm the one pedaling. It's just the way to work. Could be worse for me, really. Could be tra stuck in traffic or sitting on a bus or I don't know, fancy ass people maybe sit on a helicopter. Well, we kayak into a lonely island. Really, it could be worse. Way worse. And we're about to hit the sand, which is gonna be fun to watch. Yeah? Tonk. Okay.